please welcome somebody I love so much, the one, the only, Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> cry back there before I come on? Because it's all true. Thank you. It's, look, see, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> What's Listen, wrong with me? I know. I, 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 I go through the same thing. Listen, at this point, I feel like you can do it all. And the fact that you are taking us uh, into this world of children's books through the lens of your own personal story, I'll tell you, honestly, I thought I knew everything about you. I didn't know you were adopted. You didn't. I did not. Yes, I did not. And when I started to read this beautiful journey of this loving family who brought you in and basically raised you to be yourself. Yes. Do you remember, and I'm sure there were many conversations about it, do you recall one of the bigger ones they had about you being adopted and how to stay true to yourself and that they were still your parents? Yes, I do. And I'm glad they. this was the right way for they did it with me. They said, Christy, that's my name, <laughs> Christy Dawn, the, the woman that had you in her belly could not take care of you like she really wanted to. And she loved you so much that we get to take care of you. And this is how my mom and dad put it. And I love the way they put it. She gave you life, but we get to give you a life. <sighs> yeah. So, I know. When, you, when they said we get to give you a life, what do you think they meant by that? Because I imagine Oklahoma, could they have ever imagined pack seats and Broadway, no. that you're doing it all? I never would have thought that. You know, my, my family are chemical engineers and they shouldn't sing, nor ever should they sing. And I don't do math <laughs> at all. But they, and what they did, as you know, the best gift that you can give your kid is not overconfidence, but confidence, self-esteem. And they said, you want to take piano? So what they did is they were able to give me the opportunity to take piano lessons. I learned I was a normal kid. I went to church camp. I did church choir and drama in school. And they just encouraged me to go to college. They wanted me to get an education. I was a scholarship student. Um, we, we went through a lot of ups and downs in our life, you know? My dad had a company, and we all know what that can be. It's yeah. either up or down. So I got a scholarship at Oklahoma City University, and just, I listened to the gut. You know, for me, it's the Lord, yeah. but for some other people, it's other things. And I don't really care. It's not my business. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, it's God. And that gut thing said, you're going to go to New York. You're going to be a missionary, a missionary. I thought, oh, no, no. I like the Four Seasons, <laughs> you know? And then this is where God put me, you know? And then this is where I ended up. This is how God, I get the opportunity to talk about my faith a lot. And I'm not perfect. Yeah. I have made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. But yeah. I do believe. Well, I love that you talk about, you know, your faith. When I started this show, I remember specifically having that talk with God and that for me is God, and I thought, wow, if I start talking about my faith, are people going to be turned off? Are they mm -hmm. going to think that I'm alienating them? But right. about this show, it's being your authentic self. And I, my husband happens to be Jewish. I am Christian. Yeah. And of course, my mom, they're like, this is who you are. Uh -huh. And people want you to be yourself. That's right. And with your book, your children's book, What Will I Do With My Love Today? Mm -hmm. That seems to have been a guiding light in your life. Just what will I do? And it, it's focused on this adorable pet. <laughs> and this yes. adorable story. Yes. But it's a, that's a big question. It's, it's a huge. children's book with a big question. It is because I was adopted and I adopted Thunder Pup. That's the dog that you see there. <laughs> and they take on New York City. And there's this section in the book where, um, you know, families don't always look the same yeah. and they're not always interested in the same and they don't talk the same, but they love each other. Yeah. And that's the whole crux of the book. And the more love you give, give out in the world, the more you receive. And I've, ha I've had a hard time with our kids today, not, not me personally, just that here they happen to grow up during this time. Yeah. But what they are going to be able to teach their kids and their kids and learn from this time is going to be amazing. So I'm trying to, I'm trying 
to look at that silver lining. But the book, I wanted parents, guardians to read to their children, and I wanted them to hug after it's over because we have not been allowed to do that yeah. for, for so long. And that's how I felt when I read it. You know, it, it oh, is good. a hug. And I, as a person raising a kid who is almost three years old, I think about what is his life going to be like in uh -huh. 10 years? What, what will he tell of right. this? But these are the stories that I want him to remember, in addition to mom saying, keep your mask on and all those <laughs> other things that he's not traumatized by. Right. But I, I got to tell you, this other venture these essays mm -hmm. of women that is so powerful. You are taking the stories of others and sharing them, stories that are scary to tell sometimes, yes. stories that people have tried to silence, but you are giving voice to women in this new way. Yes. Tamron, even as we speak, I'm nervous about it and ex excited, nervous about it. It's probably one, one of the more important things I've done. Uh, Shelly Wright, country music singer, uh, Linda Perry, singer-songwriter, Lauren Blitzer, another friend, Kathy and Jimmy. Yes. A great, great Who's one of, of your ours. best friends. Yeah, right. one of my besties. You and created I, this together? Yeah, we all created it together, and it was, when do you remember as a woman, the first time fighting for yourself? Mm. Well, we were right. Shelly and I were writing a song called Run, Hide, Fight for young ladies, or those who identify as such. And then we started asking each other, when do you remember the first time you fought for yourself? And I couldn't answer. It took me weeks. So the story that I tell has been told in bits and pieces before, but this is the true, all thing, real deal. And I'm nervous about it. I'm scared by it. But we asked all, a lot of our famous friends and yeah. a lot of people that people don't know, but are, are going to be touched, touched, touched. And yeah. we sent cameras to everybody. We had them take selfies or their friends can take how they want to be seen. So that's the book. It's called My Moment. I it know, comes out in May. My Moment, 106 <laughs> women on fighting for themselves. But guess what? We have more with Kristen coming up. I'm so excited. <laughs> Kristen's new fiance, country music star Josh Bryant, is here. <laughs> they are together, and I cannot wait. Oh, coming up right after the break. We are talking to people who define what it means to be truly authentic, like my guest, Emmy and Tony Award-winning actress Kristen Chenoweth, who throughout her 27-year career has fought to stay true to herself, her faith, and her choices, including saying yes last October to her longtime love. Ooh. So cute together. Country music star Josh Bryant. <laughs> and Josh is here with us. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Josh, I've talked enough to the bride yeah. to be. Um, you met six years ago when you were hired to perform at Kristen's niece's wedding. Yes, actually, it was 2016 uh -huh. in uh, July. And her niece had seen my band play at Oklahoma University for a sorority function. And she told your brother that she wanted uh, our band to play at the wedding reception. Mm -hmm. So that's where we first met. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, you're going too fast. So, Josh, <laughs> there you are. You're, you're at the wedding working. Mm -hmm. That's what you were supposed to be yes. doing. Yeah, sound and then, check. You're doing sound yeah. check. And then you see her? Yeah, her and her music director walk in. Uh -huh. uh, it's about 115 degrees, so we're just like, oh, so hot. So you're like, is she hot or is it hot in here? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, but both. Well, okay. Uh, yeah. But it was both. Now okay. I'm in a band with five other guys, so we're all like kind of doing double takes. And I'm like, hold on now. <laughs> now so, she brings it. Well, she dresses. Yeah. She, okay, yeah. so she was looking beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, and, did, we did sound check, and I was like, man, she's beautiful to, the, to one of the guys. Aww. And then when did you tell her? This is the best part. <laughs> So fast forward, at the time we were both dating somebody. Okay. So fast forward two years later. We had become friends. Mm -hmm. Our the, His band back, back wrote Anthem and, and I had become friends. Yep. Fast forward, the nephew wants us to play at his wedding reception oh. at the same place. So we meet back up July of 2018. And we're and not we're, together we're with single. other people. Single. So that's when the spark started flying. How did you know she was now single? Because we were, we were face kind of well, I, I'll be honest, I kind of slid into the DMs, they call it. <laughs> On Twitter. I, yeah. So yeah, January of 2018, leading up to July, we kind of started talking. Yeah. And we became, we, we, Close. we really became yeah. friends. You talked about, Kristen, how being with Josh, and I don't normally like to talk about other past relationships, but right. real talk, you said this was the relationship where you felt you could be yourself. I could be the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
like Kathy and Jimmy said to me, because I said, I think I'm falling in love, and because I've run away, bribed twice, and just, and she said, has he seen you ugly? <laughs> and I said, There's no such thing. What oh, do you define as your ugly? Uh, I will sh send you a picture later of ugly. <laughs> uh, just go on my Instagram. I posted some doozies. But um, I said, Yeah, and he likes it. And she said, Then he's, and then, and then he's also been, you know, we're of like mind, like yeah. spirit, and he, he's my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have the we have the same faith and And we love music. The last time well you the last time you were on the show was Zoom and you were performing with her. What is that like to work together and love together? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, that's honestly one of the main things. I mean, her heart I'm so attracted to, yeah. you know, her kindness, but us getting like during COVID, we just would sit down and play, come up with different songs and oh. And then watch was, true crime documentary. That's right. Yes. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully those hosted by Cameron Hello. Hall. I yeah, was yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. We were like, Cameron, you Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He oh. killed her. He totally <laughs> killed her. <laughs> well, tell me this. So, you're, you're musicians. You met at wedding, at two weddings. Mm -hmm. Do you hire a wedding band for your wedding, or do you sing? <laughs> well, we're, 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 I think we're going to... We're gonna um, have some. Probably do a DJ. Yeah, we're gonna do a DJ, <laughs> but in the wedding we have to. Um, I wish we could say, but we'll come back and tell about it. We're gonna so have, you have a date and a plan. Yeah, yeah, we do, and we have people that we honor and look up to singing for us. I, th I think there's gonna be so many musicians there. Yeah. That we're gonna have a place well, set up. I, I'm that not way. a musician just... and I don't sing, but I, I would be happy to, <laughs> to be there. You can clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, <laughs> yeah. here's that go. I, you, you do know I've officiated three weddings, wow. and they're all still three together. What? If we didn't own that. Yeah. That is known. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you for coming. I know oftentimes people are like, come and bring him on. And you're like, listen, <laughs> but that you shared this love with the Tam fam and the folks watching. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I can't wait to see all the pictures from the wedding and who thank performs. You. And again, I'm available. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Kristen, too. Josh, thank you. And the collection of essays that Kristen helped create, My Moment, 106 Women on Fighting for Themselves. That comes out May 24th. And this adorable children's book, What Will I Do With My Love Today, is available now where books are sold. And guess what? Everybody in the audience is going home with a copy. All right. Thank I you love so you so much.